Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom. This video is going to be a homeschool ABC collab video and the letter this week is K. K for kind words. So I don't know about you, but some days homeschooling can be daunting. We work on a schedule because that's what seems to work best for our family, but some days still just don't the magic is missing from being a homeschooler. You know, we all had these dreams of what it would be like when we homeschool, and probably 80% of our days are pretty good. Like, we get to do hands-on stuff, and we get to be outside, and we get to be together. So for the most part, we have it pretty good. But then there's those other days where you're questioning everything. Is it only me? Please say it's not only me. <laughs> There are those other days where you're questioning everything and you just need a little bit of encouragement. So that's what this video is about. I have five things that I'm hoping will encourage you this week in your homeschooling and help get you back on track. My first word of encouragement is please make sure that you are praying every day. I know that when we start our day off with prayer, Things still might get a little crazy, and I still might have to go in the corner and take a deep breath, but for the most part, those days go so much better for all of us as a whole. So I would say two things. Make sure you're praying with your kids to start each day, and make sure that you stop and pray. I know if I'm getting frustrated or uptight or things aren't going the way I think they should, I just need a minute to go somewhere quiet and just pray and just be by myself, because that brings me back into focusing and remembering like, I don't have control over this and that's okay and that it's all gonna work out. So my first tip is make sure you're praying every day, praying for your kids, praying for yourself, praying for your homeschool, just bathe your day in prayer. My second tip is to make sure you're getting connected with other homeschoolers because being a homeschooler can be so isolating. You're with your kids every day, which is great. I think that we have all chosen this to a degree knowing that that's what we want. We want to be with our kids. But getting connected with other homeschoolers, being able to talk it out and just talk out what you're worried about, be able to talk out your fears, just completely takes the power away from them, gives you a renewed perspective. Sometimes I'll say what I'm frustrated about or what I'm worried about and just saying it out loud completely changes my perspective on what's going on. Plus having that friend who can either say, number one, I've been there, or number two, really, it's not that bad. Those are both awesome gifts that you need to be giving yourself. So make sure you're getting connected with your local homeschooling community or a mentor or homeschooler who's done this and can just help you get some perspective. Number three is be flexible. And this is a really hard one for me to learn because I'm type A, I like to check all my boxes, get all the standards checked off every year. Some days you just have to be flexible. Some days you have to pitch the lesson plan and say, okay, this isn't working. We're learning nothing about the Great Depression. We are turning on Netflix and watching a documentary. Um, we have started watching um, how the states got their shapes and that has been a fun little break from history every once in a while. So be flexible. Some days you just have to ditch the lesson plan and focus more on the character, the heart, and maybe just everybody needs a break because we all need a break once in a while, even our kids. Number four goes right along with that. Make sure you are taking a mental health day. Now what's a mental health day? It's like a teacher's in service or a work day or maybe it's just a husband's watching the kids, I need a massage day. <laughs> there is so much that goes into being a homeschooler. Maybe you need a day to catch up on paperwork. Maybe you need a day to just catch up on like life skill type stuff. Cook with your kids. Make sure they're learning to clean their room. Make sure they're getting their chores done. Make sure, again, maybe you're flipping on a documentary and counting that as your science for the day, but everybody needs a break. Not just physically when we get our rest at night, but also mentally, our kids really need that break as well. And so don't discount the fact that everybody just might be mentally exhausted and just needs a mental health day. Number five is don't compare. Now this is gonna sound really weird coming from a blogger vlogger, but don't compare yourself to other people. It's exhausting. 
because what you see actually on the internet and actually on YouTube, that is such a fraction of what's actually going on in their homeschool. You don't see the crazy chaotic days or the mental health days or the days where they're standing in the corner with their apron over their head and taking a deep breath. You don't see those days. Those days don't make it on the internet. So don't compare yourself. Don't compare your everyday to somebody else's highlight reel. That's one of my favorite quotes. I will always remember that one because it's so true. Even the homeschoolers that you see at the co-op and they're learning Latin or they're learning geometry in second grade, don't compare. You don't know what's going on in their home and what you're doing with that doesn't uh, take away from what you're doing with your kids. So I'm hoping that those five things will encourage you this week. Make sure you check out the ladies' videos down below and if you'd like to jump in on this collab, feel free to do so. I will leave a link for that as well. Talk to you later.